Update 9 is going to be one of the most important updates for the future of Pet Simulator 99, and it could serve as a major turning point for the game. As you guys know, the community is expecting a lot from this update, and if it doesn't deliver, it could be the thing that makes people stop playing altogether. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why I think this update is so important for the community, as well as some things that big games can do to help improve the game, and overall what the community is really looking for. As you guys can see, we have 5 days and 11 hours so let's get right into it because this update is coming soon and we should talk about what we're expecting really quickly though if you do enjoy this video please give it a like and consider subscribing it helps me out so much and we cover all sorts of pet simulator 99 stuff here on the channel so if you play the game at all you're gonna want to be subscribed Let's get right into it though so we can learn why this update is so important. Alright, so I'll just begin by addressing the elephant in the room that there has been a ton of negative sentiment about Pet Simulator 99 as a whole and overall just not a lot of positivity regarding any of the events or updates that are coming in the game. Now the reason that I say this update is so important is because of all this negative sentiment and people's feelings about the state of the game. I feel like if this update does not deliver what those people are looking for, they could potentially quit playing the game altogether, and we could potentially lose a ton of players as a result of this. Now, obviously, I have a stake in Pet Simulator 99 doing good because I do have a YouTube channel centered pretty much only around this game, but I do think big games did respond very poorly to the exploiter incident that happened a couple weeks ago and have felt a lot of that negative sentiment about the game because it just doesn't feel like the developers really have the players or the community in mind at all. And on top of that bad response, we've overall just not had a lot of good content be added to the game in the past few updates. Most, if not all of the community have agreed that a lot of these things that they are adding to the game just really do not have any substance or anything that really just gets you excited to play the game. Like most players don't even use any of these new machines that they added to the game and they just keep constantly nerfing everything that ends up being decent in these updates. And it just feels like to me that a lot of people are expecting extremely big things from this update in order to keep them actually playing the game. Because after every update, it seems like we keep losing players after they realize that nothing substantial was added in these updates. And I know I keep saying on top of this, on top of that, but on top of all of that, the decision to increase how long these updates take has had a detrimental effect on the game because with the current schedule, they're doing updates every three weeks and it doesn't feel like they're adding anything to the game. So when you wait three weeks for an update and nothing really changes in your everyday gameplay, that can be very demotivating for a lot of players. Now, I do have to say the designers for these levels have been going pretty crazy. Like look at the design of these levels they look so good and we don't even really get to see them much now i do think this is a huge game design flaw because we as players are encouraged to just fly through these areas to get to the final zone and begin grinding and we don't even get to stop and enjoy a lot of the art that the developers take a lot of time coding which in my opinion is just a huge waste of time for the developers which which brings me to my first point about what big games should do to keep the game alive. I think they need to go back to weekly updates. Now with those weekly updates, I think they should do less levels, like maybe just add like five to 10 new levels so that we actually get to appreciate all the new stuff being added to the game. And on top of that, we would be able to appreciate these machines a lot more and the devs could take their time with these things and make sure there's no exploits. With how fast paced gaming is now, players are looking for updates more frequently and honestly they don't even care if they are just smaller updates that include like one new machine five new levels that is usually enough to keep players engaged and coming back to the game every week but with this current three week schedule it just feels like these updates take absolutely forever and we don't end up getting anything at all actually updated in the game and i think by doing weekly updates the developers would have a lot less exploits to cover because when they drop an update with like 50 different features it's almost impossible for them to test all the various exploits 
that could be happening with all of this new stuff. If they were adding just one or two new things a week, they could easily do bug testing for those things to make sure that nothing is wrong or exploiters can take advantage of it. I just think it is way too much for the developers to go through and test all of this stuff because they try to stuff everything in one big update every three weeks. So I honestly do not see a downside to doing weekly smaller updates because the player base would be able to enjoy these things that the devs are actually adding and feel like the dev and feel like the game is actually progressing as a whole. Now this brings me to my second point about issues that the community is having with the game and that being how consistent these merch drops are. Now I don't want to seem like a complete hater for the game because of course I want pet simulator to succeed but it does seem like big games priorities are all out of whack and we end up getting at least two to three merch drop between each update for the game so from a perspective of somebody in the community it seems like they are spending more of their time focusing on these merch drops and designing these plushy and the pay to win huges and titanics that are going to be put in the game for them than the actual updates themselves now i understand big games probably has a whole separate department that does focus on these merch drops but when you're getting two to three merch drops between each update for the game that is absolutely crazy from my perspective the game could be so much better if they just put that time and energy into actually updating the game and creating stuff in the exclusive shop that people would pay for and stopping all of these various bugs that we're having i don't know about you guys but the game feels a hundred percent more buggy than it was when I first started playing. Now, honestly, I feel like the reason for this is because they stopped doing the weekly updates and the devs just can't keep up with the amount of bugs that come in each update. So potentially this could be another thing that weekly updates could fix for them. And I could go on about the amount of bugs that are in the game, but honestly, there is such a large list that it just doesn't even matter at this point. But when you are playing the game every day and waiting for the developers to fix some major issue that affects the part of the game that you actually enjoy, and then you get a notification from the Discord about a new merch drop for them to score even more money it's just like super demotivating to play the game because it just feels like all they care about is the money and not the actual game that is what makes the community great itself i do understand that big games does need to make money to pay the developers to code all this new stuff but we should not be having multiple merch drops in between updates for the game now if we just had a brand new merch drop for each update i don't think that would seem that crazy to many of the people because then it would feel like the developers are actually doing things and not just working on these merch drop events to make more money every time i get a notification about a merch drop for pet sim while i'm playing the game it really just makes me dislike the game a little bit more I'm yapping way too much, so let's keep moving on though. My third suggestion for big games is actually probably one of the most important that I think would solve a ton of the issues that the community is having with the game. And that issue is the lack of communication from big games. Now, this lack of communication causes problems in quite a few ways for the game, but I do think that the developers need some sort of little patch notes where you can like come right here and look at all the various changes that they're making in the game. I think the vast majority of players would not have a problem when the developers need to nerf something or change something in the game. But the silent nerfing and the changing of these little things that we do in the game are extremely irritating for the vast majority of players. It seems like every time there's something fun and exciting to do in the game, the developers end up just silently nerfing it after a little while. But if we were to just get some patch notes that actually say when these changes do happen, I think a majority of the players would be fine with that. And it would be a lot more fair for the players that don't get to play the game 24-7 because they will see what these changes are and they don't have to find out from Twitter or a YouTuber telling them. Because currently, that's the only way for the player base to find out about these changes is a YouTube video or a Reddit post or a Twitter post from somebody that does constantly play and was able to test it. So I think the lack of patch notes is very bad for the average player of the game. And if the developers were able to communicate better, it would honestly solve about 90% of the problems that people have with the game. Because most players don't have any issues with nerfs or changes to the game. They just have a problem when these nerfs are happening like behind their backs 
and big games is just saying absolutely nothing about it and then oftentimes doubling down and saying that we're crazy when we do say that these things were changed <clears throat> uh preston but i do think that overall better communication would help a lot of these issues and there are some developers that do communicate with some players over twitter but communication and transparency would go a long way, and I think the community as a whole would really appreciate it. Now, those are pretty much my three major points that I wanted to talk about. Another little thing I wanted to suggest to big games was to basically just stop nerfing everything that ends up being good. And I definitely think the community would agree about this. I, I think consistently nerfing everything that ends up actually being fun and good in the game is very demotivating for people. People. And I think buffing other things would be just as an effective way to stop something when it is unbalanced. I think that overall buffs to games do increase like how engaging the content actually is. And nerfs overall just make you feel like you are moving backwards in progress, which is just never good for a game in general. So if big games could just begin buffing other things when something is unbalanced, I think that would be a better alternative for the game than just constantly nerfing anything that turns out to be a little better than they intended it on being. And then finally, my last suggestion would to just be focusing on fixing all of these darn bugs that we have in the game because it feels like some of these bugs have been in the game for so long and even some of them that the developers said they were going to fix just ended up never being fixed. So I don't know what's up with that. I know the developers are working on a fix for this already, but that error 277 that constantly gets people kicked out of the game that's been going on for, I believe it was through the last update, is getting absolutely irritating because it seems like I get kicked from the game like every other hour for absolutely no reason, and that just never happened before. So I don't know what big games changed. Maybe it's a Roblox issue. I don't know. I'm not a developer or anything. But fixing that alone would solve a lot of the headache. And a lot of people just don't like even loading in the game because of all of the glitches that are in it. It just makes it so much less engaging because you just have to constantly get your grinding set up back and re-logging and doing a bunch of other trash that's just annoying for the game overall. And to do a little recap, the three things that I think Big Games needs to do to help fix the game is number one, starting off with doing the weekly updates once again. Weekly updates would solve a lot of the issues that we do currently have with the game and engagement with the game. So I think that is a great place to start. Number two is that I think they should only do merch drops for the amount of updates that actually happen to the game because the constant merch drops when we are waiting for an update that actually adds substance to the game is very demotivating for a lot of players. Even players that do actually spend money on the game don't want to be constantly reminded that they should be spending money when the game isn't even being updated or fixed for that matter. And then the third and final and probably the most important one is just to communicate better. Now they could do this in a couple ways. But I think hiring a good community manager that is actually engaging with the community and taking in all of these criticisms would be a great start as well as just a patch notes feature in the game where we can see every single change that is being made so that we don't think the developers are being malicious behind our backs. Now for all of these reasons is why I do think update 9 will be the big decider for a lot of people on whether or not they should be playing the game because it just feels like a lot of these issues have not been addressed in a long time and that big games is shifting more towards caring about profits rather than building an engaging community and a game but obviously these are just my thoughts so let me know in the comment section down below if you do agree with a lot of these points and what other suggestions you guys would have for big games to help solve a lot of these issues thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out